In terms of trends that I'm seeing across the sector I'm in is the water industry. Uh, certainly there's heightened awareness of privacy and the loss of information as part of a data breach. Um, I think in other areas, it's, it's the same sorts of attack vectors. We're just seeing a lot more of it. And that is, has been useful because it raises awareness across the business as to why it is so important to focus on this area. So in my state-owned corporation, the key projects for us are really, there's probably three areas. One of them is around identity and securing identity. As we shift further into the cloud, we need to rethink and evolve the way that we manage um, identity when somebody is connecting to one of our systems. Multi-factor authentication clearly is just a, a massive piece of that and extending multi-factor across all of our systems is a key for us. For our sort of business where we run our operations, so water and wastewater treatment, so there's an operational technology network. In that area, we are bringing some of the more uh, mature corporate IT practices to an environment where you have people turning up with devices to check bits of plant and equipment. So there's quite a cultural change around the need to uplift in that area. The reason we're focusing on identity is we know recent stats I read said credentials are involved in about almost 50% of data breaches, for example. So managing that point of entry into a system is really key to managing that risk. Look, it is such a massive industry. Cyber criminals are incentivized by the financial gains I heard Abigail Bradshaw say that cybersecurity is a team sport a few years ago, and I think that is absolutely key. We've got to embrace what we each know and share our learnings together to have any chance of uh, protecting ourselves. As someone who's in a state-owned corporation, it gives me the opportunity to meet others who are part of government. The government is essentially our shareholder and our owner and to understand strategies and priorities for government. But more importantly, it's the opportunity to share with other people, share learnings, uh, make other connections and really build that strong cyber secure team for New South Wales.